Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2! The Ark is coming along nicely, and we've got a buggy. Buggy. We're instructed to go beyond the Vortex Gate. Eat some food. And in the Court of Chaos, where we're heading, we should be able to find some friends. Also, Aerosplattle comes with us. Camera rotates very slowly. He's sitting on that chair. Look how cute he is. We're heading to the Court of Chaos. Right past this, which was otherwise preventing us. Hey, we made it. Oh, hi. To the Court of Chaos, where more friends, and by friends I mean monsters, should be waiting for us. Take that, ants. So this is a big ol' open area they gave you here. Probably because they expected you to have the buggy. I'm just taking a quick look around. Map out as much as I can. Not too concerned about ma holy crap. Man, glad this thing is strong enough to... It's just made out of iron, too. Got more of that red stuff just dripping off the top of that. Wonder why those trees always fade in like sliding sideways. It's only those trees. Ooh. Well, I mean, I guess we should go investigate. Do I have to get out? I have to get out. I can't remember what the get off button is. Every button except the one that I hit. Ooh, glass. I mean, I guess you could need glass. You want to make windows or something. How you doing? Sure thing. Kick this guy's butt. All right, everybody in. We're going for a ride. Okay, so that's where you're supposed to go. I'm gonna take a quick look around otherwise. Map the place out, see what's where. Again, I'm not too concerned about getting every last little tiny thing, but it's always nice to have a lay of the land. So heading over this way, this is to the left of the Court of Chaos. And we got a hooded guy back there. I'll talk to him later, don't you worry. Plot will dictate and all. Um, that's actually funny because the... The baboon and the slimes that we rescued before, it was that same deal where you could actually find them whenever, and you just couldn't talk to them until plot the game. Okay, so I think that's mostly the place. So you get that arm showing up over there. So these arms show up when you are within a certain proximity of them. Uh, so they'll show up, they'll do their thing, and then they're done. And they only show up in specific places, they're not, like, randomly generated or whatever. So once you kind of have an eyeball of where they show up, they're, 
You don't have to worry about them anymore. Okay, that seems like pretty much it. So let's head back up here and make our way up to that court. Like that. So this is a pretty straight path, but it is still fraught with peril. And by peril, I mean arms. Knocking out the road from under you. So, you know, drive careful. I don't think the arms hurt you, but I don't want them to, like, knock out the ground from under me and then I fall. That'd be a little butts. Oh, and gravitational fields! Hope you haven't forgotten about them! Oh, jeez! Okay, slingshotting around, but we made it. Nope! Uh. Don't know where I'm going. Going somewhere. I lost track of my path. Okay, I think we're just going straight through this one. Because it's kind of in the way. Okay, we made it. Yeah, I think that's it for the gravitational fields. But not it for Malrazzo. I like that the Drakki has actually been giving us directions. I haven't been paying attention because I've been scared. Anything back this way? Anything cool back here? Like, this is kind of where I came from. Get up here. I mean, sorta. Nothing I'm gonna worry about right away, though. Is first we have to get to the Court of Chaos. Yeah, that Malroth. Alright, that thing is indestructible, so it'll be fine. A lot of nice things up here, though. Look at all of these. Nothing I'm super worried about at the moment. What do you mean you can't slide down ladders like they do in the TV shows? Hey, how you doing? Zibidi! Uh... No, I don't. Looking for my buddy. Oh, I gotta talk to you again. Very upfront about it. That's exactly what we are and what we're doing. Also looking for my buddy. What are you gonna do, destroy me? See, this is a funny thing, because even here, even these locations, these courts, nasty as gnarly as they look, were still made by that ancient builder. Everything that the children of Hargon have been using was built by a builder. Like, one builder, but built by the builder. Every last one of them. And they can't repair them because they can't build, so they're just using and wearing all of this stuff down. And they wouldn't be able to keep using it forever. Eventually it would wear down to the point that they can't use it anymore. Honestly, if these guys weren't 
Like, these guys are as big a threat as they are, but if events didn't go in otherwise, we could have just outlasted them. Ooh, something behind the altar, you say? Heck yeah! Oh, don't mind me just destroying your holy, al your unholy altar and breaking down your wall. I'm destroying! You should be praising me. Oh, so it's all right when Malroth does it. See, he knows. Yep, now that everything we did was pretty cool, I'm just gonna, you know... Ooh, gold. Get some meat. I can cook some slightly more complicated meals. Ooh, and a seed of light. There is one seed of life in this chapter, and that's it. Hard to miss, thank heavens, because it is permanently missable. Well, I mean, it was clearly in my power. I just took my mallet right to it and down it went. He gets it! Oh yeah, that's right, I'm looking for him. He's my buddy. I have I I have some befuddle drops. Ah yes, join in on the sinning. Alright, so out of all of that mess, we actually got a lot of nice things. A lot of supplies that I'm not too immediately concerned about. Uh, some of these are edible? I think this one is edible. Yeah, restores fullness by 30%. That one's food. Uh, this one can be used to make that. So we have two ingredients and two foods. They give you enough food, just like they gave you that, that you generally don't have to worry too much about food in this chapter. And that's probably for the best. Alright. Let's go! This thing's starting to fill up a little bit. Okay, so, hooded guy right down here. How you doing, guy? Just me and like three monsters out having a good time. Ooh. 
You got it. I'm pro blowing up walls. I love this guy so much. I, I want this guy to be a much larger part of this chapter than he is. Because I love this guy so much. It's like I'm back on Crumble Done, but only with more stupid. Yeah, look at all those teeth. Good point. I like the way you think. Ooh, good idea. What's he gonna do, destroy me? Alrighty, well guess what I'm doing. Can I put this, like, higher up? Can I put it on top of these? Nah. You're gonna make me pillar up. Actually, I probably didn't need to pillar up that high. I probably didn't even need to pillar up this high, but guess what I'm doing anyway. Crap. Got him. Alright, let's plop some down and about. Nope, I wanted it to go there. I thought for a brief moment that I got caught in that explosion. And I was slightly terrified. There we go. Maybe I was a little overzealous. Ah. ah, no he didn't, he's right there. Okay, well let me grab these real quick. Let me grab all this loose stuff. And then we can stab him! Then we can get away from him. And then we can stab him! Did that ant just drop teeth? No. Rude. I like how the axe bonks him on the head. I do have a map. Heck yeah! Alright, well while I'm here, 
I don't really need hot water, but what I do need... Plasma. So plasma is the last remaining liquid that we didn't have back on the Isle of Awakening. And now we have it! Cool! I just have to remember to not get rid of it somehow. Uh, don't worry, you aren't locked out of it after this. Forgot what the run button was. Alright, everybody pile in! Just cram more people in here. Alright, so where are we going? So there's something over that way, and there's something over this way. Let's go this way. Hey, how you doing? Do you want to sin? Exactly. Fair. Yeah, that's pretty dark. Pretty dark. Thankfully, your mini-map still works, but otherwise, yep. Pretty dark. Hey. How about I punch you in the face? Fistle exist. I always thought this one was a lady and the other one was a dude, but I think they're both ladies. That's cool, just a couple gals palling around. Okay. We did it. I don't know if there's a hard barrier, like if you keep going in, if you'll eventually hit something you can't absolutely cannot go past. But I do know that there is a... There's at least a wall two blocks high that if you, you can't jump over, so without being able to see what it is, you may not think about how to get past it. Uh, there she is. On one hand, I feel like they're way too eager to like trust us and go with us any and go with us. But on the other hand, like it's the end of the world. What else am I doing with my time? Standing here ready to die? Worst case scenario, I go there and see it and go, "Yep, that's a pile of crap," and then go back to standing around waiting to die. Yeah, there's more on the other side. All right. Everybody in! I'm 
We gotta wait for everybody to get on. There we go. Out of the way. Where's the bats? Oh, the bats are just chilling. They're like crammed in there. Aerosplottle had to get off and s get off and stand on the footstool. The footstep. The footrest. The step stool. That's the word. I'd get it eventually. Alright, so um, we're going back there, but I'm gonna head in here real quick because I think there's something in here. Yeah, there's a chest up here. Okay, back in. All right. Hey, Skelebro. How you doing, Skelebro? The Immortal Core. Haven't, haven't we heard that before? You know, you can not die. We don't have to fight anymore either. I mean, maybe a little. Okay, cool. All right, we got one up down. Okay. Well, let's go get him. It's gonna be kind of an adventure, but we'll get up. The we'll get there. We'll get there. Why do I have spoiled soil? Whatever. Let's use spoiled soil. Jokes on you if you think I'm coming back down this path. As long as I can get up there, I don't care. Okay, this guy is gonna be problems. How you doing? Yeah, let's go! Alright. Cool. Okay, he's working up there. So he's fine. Yeah, that was a little spooky, not gonna lie. Hmm. Getting over there is gonna be... a little more tricky. So we're going this way. Just got to make sure I don't fall in pits. Or get zapped by a mind player. Or whatever those things are called. I don't know what they're called. I feel like I should. Whoa there, hold up. I'm Okay, good. You didn't actually destroy much, if any, of the platform I was going to stand on. I mean, fair.
cool! So there is one more? Just one more? Alright, just one more! Hop on back down. Maybe try to get close before we start doing the hopping. Okay, so you're over there. So it shouldn't be too hard to get there from here. Hey, wait a minute. It's Griswold! He's alive! Ah ha ha! All right! Heck yeah! Get the heck out of here. Oh, man. So it's... I, I mentioned that I, I enjoy it a lot from here, and it just gets better. And some of that is... Like, losing Griswold at the start was... That was a heck of a downer moment. Like, just starting out, making you feel how bad everything is. But that's how stories work. They gotta beat you down so they can build you back up. But, like, this moment of, like, Nah, he's here too! Yeah! Griswold's back! I never would have expected that. And then the second part of that... Like, it's building you up, it's letting you know that things are... things are bad, but they're not... it's not without hope. And you can do that by, like, making a little more light of a situation. I mean, you can crack a joke every now and then, sure, and you can also put 500 skeletons and monsters all on your buggy and friggin' drive around with 800 guys on it. Just this friggin'... There's like... There's like 30 guys on this stupid thing and they all have to fit on there somehow. They're all in different places. They're all squeezed around. Oh, where's Eris? Holy crap. Guys, I can't I can barely grab the handle. Where's Eris Splottle? He's around here somewhere. Probably like hiding behind the bad boons. Like, I don't know, there's just something. Maybe it's just me. But there's just something unreasonably charming and hilarious about this friggin' clown car. We're fine, we're fine, everybody's panicking, but we're fine. Yeah! It's like, man, you get to the end, you even forgot all who you brought into the start. Got friggin' Zebedee and that Drakian? Crap, forgot they even were, were guys. So I don't think it matters who you talk to. Let's talk to Zebedee.
Yeah, Noah too! Probably ecstatic to see him. You know, just just the regular old sinning. And friggin' Zebedee, with the utmost respect for Helen, is just like, okay, no, I see your rationale. And if our old belief system isn't working, then we'll just have to find a new belief system that does. We'll work it out. We'll find something that works instead of clinging to something that clearly does not. And again, I'll say, maybe it's just, maybe it was just me, but it was building the buggy was the first moment of, oh no, that was actually pretty cool. And then from there, it went, it went to this, which was just an amazingly, I want to say heartwarming. There's another word that is not coming to mind that is the word that I'm thinking of. But, like, it was just such an amazingly good feel. That, like, man, look at all these idiots on this clown car. We got Griswold back. And then Zebedee shows up, and he's even like, no, you know what? Clearly, our old system isn't working, so we'll logically move forward and find something that does. Instead of, like, being, doing the tridal, tridal, like, they're being smart, cool guys. The whole thing, I love it. Until next time, everyone. Things are looking up. You know, I don't know much about Malroth still. So maybe not as up for us. But things are looking up.